Mega Gengar. Now, when Gengar received the Mega Evolution, there were a lot of, you know, turned heads. Like, why did he really need a Mega Evolution? He's already he's already pretty good enough as it is. But with the Mega Evolution, he gets a very very good increase in special attack and speed. But at the same time, it's still just a Gengar. It can get one shotted. It can can't really take much of a hit. But with using this set and the new ability it gets, I'm pretty sure you can find some way to mess around with people, right? Let's get started. Okay, first, its EVs are 156 in HP, 4 in defense, 96 in special attack, and 252 in speed. I already maxed out its speed, so it's going to outspeed Shaman Sky. I don't think it'll... It's never going to outspeed Deoxys' speed. Uh, I put a little bit into special attack because it needs some type of damage. Um, and the same reason for that health, because if you get hit by something not very super effective, you'll at least live one. Gengar with nothing in health, and nothing... Yeah, Gengar with nothing in health will not live anything, I'm pretty sure. Nature is timid, so that means that raises speed, lowers attack, doesn't have... It can be a physical attacker, but I don't know why you'd want it to be a physical attacker. It's just weird. Plus, its special attack is off the chain already. Then we got Gengarite, which you can find in-game. Or, you know, if you're on Pokemon Showdown like me, it'll be there for you. And finally, it gains Shadow Tag. Shadow Tag, it keeps your opponent in. They can't escape unless they're a Ghost-type, I believe. So, that means if you send out Mega Gengar on something that it really can't do anything to, like a, ooh, a Genesec, maybe? You know, usually, it'll just be a good old time for you on your end. Now for the moves. Will O Wisp or Toxic? Depending on how your team is formatted, you might want to run Toxic, but personally I prefer Will O Wisp since, you know, defense is a little under there considering it's an Uber tier. And once you pop Will O Wisp, then they're just going to be sitting there hammering away at nothing. Hex. Hex does base 130 when it's under a status effect, not including confusion. So if it's sleep, poisoned, Toxic, Will O Wisp, or whatever. Hex is going to be doing base 130, which already is stronger than Shadow Ball. And, on top of that, you know, it gets stabbed. So, you're doing a lot of damage. Dazzling Gleam for coverage, because, obviously, Tyranitars are rampant on Ubers, depending on what set you're running. So, it's better to at least have something to attack them with, instead of always constantly having to use Hex or worrying about the typing, and etc, etc. Finally, Destiny Bond. This is a really good move for a Mega Gengar. It already outspeeds uh, outspeeds a majority of things, and if you know you're going to die next turn by something because it's a gang, it's basically a Gengar, you might want to just pop Destiny Bond, and that's a, it's a pretty much instant uh, instant death for them. Uh, I can usually get at least one or two faints with the set, and I'll show you with the with a couple of well, at least two battles I had on Showdown right now. Okay, so here we go. Sent out Gengar first, because I said why not. And I'm fighting a Xerneas. According to the damage calculator, Xerneas gets 3 hit KO'd by Will-O-Wisp Hex or whatever. Don't know why he did Moonblast. It's a Gengar. You should have Psy Shock on a Xerneas and Geomancy. So then that takes a hit. Then he uses Aromatherapy. Didn't expect that. But it's dead anyway, so 60 plus Stab, you know. That Thor's thing. Here. I already burned it. I think he was going to go for Psycho Cut. I might have not lived. I don't know. But I'm guessing he thought I was going to switch. And he went into Drain Punch. I'm going to call Misclick on that. He used Detect. I don't know why. Because, you know, usually if you're under a status effect. Unless that was the only other move he had. Because, you know, I'm on Shadow Tag. But, anyway, that gets one-shotted. Because, well, it's a Metacham. A Mega Metacham, but it's a Metacham nonetheless. Scizor. Burn the Scizor. It's useless now. And then he uses Fury Cutter. <laughs> Fury Cutter? I don't know. I have not met a single person who uses Fury Cutter on a Scizor. There's so much more you can do. He uses Bullet Punch and that does a little bit of a decent amount. Now he sends out Blaziken. And I'm like, okay, just pop Destiny Bond because Earthquake is coming. Because why wouldn't you put Earthquake on a Blaziken? And that died. And that's a pretty good, um, it's already like four down. And I still have plenty left. Here's for the other battle. 
Send out my Gengar. And here comes a Scizor. Mega Evolve. Immediate, immediate thought is just burn it. Because, why? Well, I mean, if you have a top, again, depending on your team, I personally go with the burn and look how much damage that did. Even though it was not very effective anyway. Hex and it got one shot. Most Pokemon get either two hit KO'd or three hit KO'd when you're running a set, by the way. Um, there's only a few instances where something will get one shotted. And he uses Dark Pulse. I live. So I'm like, alright, Destiny Bond. And he pops it again. And I die. And that's about at least two. Most of the time, you're just going to get at least two down. I, I have known about another set, the whole Parish Song Substitute Protect thing, but personally, that's a little boring to me. I want to try and make Pokemon a little bit more innovative than, you know, something that's in quotation marks overpowered or whatever. So, hope you guys enjoyed the set. You can leave more Pokemon for me to attempt to make a set for in the comments below. And uh, I'll catch you guys later.